Hey, I'm Tony Gaskins, author, life coach, and motivational speaker. I wanted to share with you, um, Mr. Latham, what an awesome guy, what he's doing just to bring laughs and at the same time bring some inspiration, you know, for the young people. And I wanted to share with you today and really talk about purpose. Um, myself, I'm 28 years old. I've been able to change my life and it's been a blessing and become, you know, a life coach and a speaker and an author. And the thing about it is, is those gifts that I live today have always been in me, but I didn't tap in early enough because I wanted to try and fit in with what the world said I had to be, which was something in entertainment or an athlete. And so I denied my natural gifts, the things that came natural. You know, I, I found out in the fourth grade that I could write, that I was a writer and I had a gift, you know, a way with words. And my teacher, she told me, she told my parents, and she took me out of the regular class and put me into the gifted class. Then by seventh grade, I opted out of the gifted class because I wanted to go back, you know, to the regular classes. You know, by the age of 16, I was going to jail for stealing. By the age of 18, I had a full scholarship to play football in college. By the age of 19, I was selling drugs out of the dorm room. By the age of 20, I had a girl pregnant. By the age of 21, I was kicked out of college for what the coach said was a bad attitude. By 21, I was home, you know, selling drugs, stealing from stores, and just living a fast life, ignoring my natural gifts, trying to fit in, trying to be something that I wasn't, you know, trying listening to the rappers and being influenced by, you know, that thug mentality, you know, that, that grind, that hustle, but it was illegal. Um, by the age of 22, you know, I decided I was going to sit down and write a book, but I hadn't really parted ways fully with the streets. I wrote a book, but I didn't push it. I didn't do anything with it. Uh, by the age of 23, I was married. I had a son. He was in the intensive care unit, and I got robbed at 23. And that sent a message to me because I was playing in the streets, you know, selling drugs, and then... In that process, you know, one of some, some other drug dealers or, you know, just kind of goons, whatever you want to call it, they robbed me. You know, that put me, you know, they stole my car, had an Impala with some 22s on it. I was worshiping that car. That was my symbol of status. If you come from that type of area, you understand, you know, how that that's a status symbol. And I was robbed. And here I was, you know, 23, now I'm $30,000 in the hole without transportation and I have a wife and I have a child you know and I decided then June 16 2007 that I was going to tap into my gifts and use my gifts and let my gifts begin to change my life um, that was 23 I made a goal that in two years I would be on Oprah telling my story and I had a crazy story almost two years to the day I was 25 years old and I was sitting on Oprah you know, telling my story. Um, it was a, me being a toxic boyfriend, but that was what birthed my book, that experience in a very toxic, abusive relationship. The next day, Tyra Banks called me, and I went on Tyra Banks to, uh, with my book in hand and showed my book to the world, you know, at 25 years old. And after that, the rest is history. The key is, the message is, the moral of the story is that the earlier that you can accept your natural gifts and tap into your gifts and give your gifts a purpose, give your gifts a purpose to make the world a better place, the earlier you can do that, the better off you are. I wish I would have tapped in earlier so I could have you know, escaped all of the heartache and a lot of the pain, but life happens. So I see those mistakes as lessons and I turn those mistakes into my lessons and I turn my mess into my message. So if I can encourage you today, I really want you to sit down and look at your natural gifts, look at the things that you do daily, look at the things that you can do that not everybody else can do, whatever it may be. It could be organizing things, planning things, drawing, painting, singing, dancing, athletics, writing, whatever it is, look at those gifts, identify them, write them down on a piece of paper, then identify a career for them, look at those careers, and then identify what steps you need to take to be able to 
hone your gift, you know, perfect your craft and make money doing it and then give your profit a purpose. Take the profit that you're getting and do it for a reason. Use your platform for a reason. So please take this message from me. I cannot guarantee you that if you do illegal things and if you ignore your gift that you'll make it out the same way that I did. You know, not all of us have the same story. Not all of us have the same grace or favor, you know, and I don't know what could happen. So please don't take the excuse and say, well, he made it out. You know, I can continue to do this or do that and I'll be okay by the time I'm 28 because none of our tomorrows is guaranteed. So start today. Look within yourself. Identify your gifts. Write the vision. Make a plan and stick to it. Tony Gaskins, I'm signing out. God bless you.